what we're going to talk about here is, is part two in Harari's book, Sapiens. And uh, we're going to be looking at the agricultural revolution, what he talks about. He, this, and he, he, first thing he does is he calls the agricultural revolution history's biggest fraud. The reason he says this is that, is that at that time, many of the scholars were, were looking out and saying that, that sapiens got more intelligent and they became smart enough to decipher nature's secrets, enabling them to tame the sheep, cultivate wheat. And, and so the agricultural revolution was a very active and positive event. And the reason that they said this is that when you look at the fact that the agricultural revolution developed independently in many different spots at many different times, so, so it's 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 reasonable to believe that that it was a uh, it was a positive. However, Harari kind of questions that. He says that a was it a conscious decision, and b was it a good thing for sapiens? All right, did it, did it actually make sapiens happy? And, and his answer to that is that actually it didn't. I mean, it wasn't necessarily. A, a good thing. Ninety percent of the people were doing backbreaking work, uh, uh, and and also it, it kind of limited the diet, where there there were fewer dietary options now, with so much dependency on on just those the wheat and and, and the items that that are actually wheat, they they could plant and the animals that they could they could domesticate. So and then on top of that, the farmers had to defend their crops or use surplus crops to pay for rulers to defend the territory. And so what this did is it, is it made it so that a, uh, what, what happened is that the agricultural revolution actually became the development or the sense of the building of the elites. And so now we see the, the, the kings and the soldiers who are busy defending the territory, the, the priests, the, 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 the teachers, everybody. That, that is, that's what he means by elites, right? It's, it's everybody basically who live off the surplus of the laborers. And so the, the question then becomes is, is, is a, uh, if you, when you look at this, is, is, is why, in, why in the world did they, did they agree to this kind of Faustian uh, uh, situation? And the reason, he says, two reasons for that. And reason number one is that they built their homes and stuff near the, 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 the farms, and they built so many artifacts in their homes that, it, that, that artifacts became a prison because they couldn't move around like they could when they were hunter-gatherers. And not only was it a prison for the sapiens, but it was for all the animals that they also domesticated. So, so they, they basically they became a prison for them. And, and that reason, he says, the reason is that the currency of evolution is copies of DNA, and it's not basically species happiness. So the focus is not species happiness from, from an evolutionary perspective. Now, he also identifies that there's an alternative explanation of, available to and one is that that this was more of a religious thing that that there it was divine intervention that led to this and and he he uses the, the that 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 the whole thing may not have been the search for an easier life but rather religious aspirations and and if you look at the 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 the, the, the town in, in or the, the discovery in turkey it, it leaves some credibility to the suggestion that supporting uh, the, the labor required to build the religious temple. And, and the reason he comes up with that is, is, is that what we've seen is that the, the, the development of the village close to the temple appears that the temple was older than the village. So the religion may have been the, 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 the what started the people getting there, a, uh, getting agriculture. So anyway, history's lessons, okay? One of the immense forces of change transform the world is was ways in ways nobody envisioned or wanted all right and that's important for us to remember later the discrepancy between evolutionary success and individual suffering is one of the most significant lessons of the agricultural revolution it wasn't all positive and one of history's iron laws is that luxuries tend to become necessities now this is what he deals with in this first part of a uh, of, of agricultural revolution thanks for watching